Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about the forgotten running back. Well, forgotten in most people's eyes, Justice Hill. Last night, Justice Hill put on a pretty good showing of why he's effective and efficient and still should be used in the Baltimore Ravens offense. Now, is he Derrick Henry? No. Is he what we thought Keaton Mitchell would be, uh, you know, after his breakout emergence? No. But he's definitely a mix of both of those guys and should be considered a vital part of the Ravens offense. Last night, only had four carries, 18 yards, 4.5 yards per carry, which is good. But the way he got his carries is crazy. But the big thing was he led us in receiving out the backfield. Six catches, 78 yards, and a mean double move for a touchdown. Let's take a look at what Justice Hill did to provide a boost to the Baltimore Ravens offense because I think it's going to be a different star every week. And if Derrick Henry was one yard shy of 200, Justice Hill played a vital, vital role in getting us off to a, a good start and putting us in a good space yesterday. Roll the intro. Right, let's take a look at, at what Justice Hill to, to get his passing yards and his receiving yards. Because people forget that he can run the ball effectively as well. But the little draw that we've you know instituted for him is fairly good. And this is outside zone with him right here. And what I like about this is, is even though DeMar Hamlin comes through unblocked, his, his shiftiness, his quickness, just runs away from DeMar. He bounces to another hole and it started being a no yard game. He ends up lowering the shoulder right there at the end of the run and picking up another uh, three or four yards. See it better from this view right here. And we pretty much going to have it blocked up, right? Outside zone left. Kolar gets a pin on Russo trying to come up the linebacker. Got that. So you got a hat on the hat. Free guys DeMar Hamlin. Right there. He sees it, bounces to another gap. Now, that should have been he should have been tackled on the 45 yard line. He makes DeMar Hamlin miss that tackle. And he gets another six yards after that missed tackle. Again, people forget that he can run the ball. He still runs it effectively. And it's very twitchy. We run this draw pretty effectively and really do a good job of of getting people and creating angles, I say, I would say, with the uh Play fake. Good job of faking it out there. Look at 92, go for the fake, and that creates leverage for a Linda bomb. And you got Ricard coming up because you see 42 and 54 look out there for the fake too. But then you got big big guys coming up to get on top of them. Look at that. Now you got a hat on the hat because of the uh, fake screen. And just as he does the rest, gets in there, gets the yard that she needed. Not a lot of rushing yards, but effective rushing yards. Burst. Burst. And that's the all 22 version of it. And you see the linebackers get up out of there on the play phase because we've been, we've been fairly efficient with our screens. And so this helps. And I mean, and baby don't even, baby don't even stay out there like a fake. So I don't know where the linebackers are going, but still they go on the, the arm action and you see 52, I'm sorry, 42 and 54 run out there, which creates angles for Stanley and Ricard to come in and get blocks. And just as he did the rest. I would like to see Bateman uh, kind of sell that too. Another thing we did with him, we ran some non-traditional screens with with um with them too. This is another draw. Again. We set it up fairly good too. The play action. That 42 stepped again which creates another angle for Linda Bum to get up on them. Then you see Ricard fold up in there and fire fa Lele maul somebody, didn't it? Let's, let's go back and see what happened. Fire Lele. Fire Lele chunk somebody on the ground. That was what I'm talking about, Big 77. Get you get you some aggressiveness and I'll leave you alone. Get you some aggressiveness and I'll, I'll leave you alone, big dog. I like that. I like that. Throw him out the club, Fire Lele. 
Get them out. Get them out. I know this is a Justice Hill video, but hey, shout out to Father Lele for throwing the kid about the club. Yeah, get about here, cuz. Jones, get about the club. No ID, you can't you can't pass. Your ID invalid. Let's go to the next one. Get them in space. Just get them playmaker in space. That's it. And look at him turn that corner for the first down. No way did I think this was gonna be a first down when he first caught this ball. No way. No way. Cause look at look at three and thirty two. They got angles on him. They got angles on him. They have angles on this man. But that that burst. That burst. And he gets just enough for the first down. The referee got him short, but I think we I think we got that first down on that play. I think. But he got a sneaky burst that you kind of forget about because he don't touch the ball a lot. And it's one of them non-traditional screens right here. It's not a traditional slow screen. It's not a wide receiver screen. It's just like an like in-between screen. Right unless the guy come. And then you got four linemen out there and Mark out there on the perimeter blocking. So all he has to do is find his way. He just got to find his way. Up in behind these guys, some kind of way. That's all he got to do. Find his way up and behind them, and he's good to go. Great patience. Let's them get out in front of him. Good. Job. Who is this with the turn back? Whoever this is is a good job of killing the rat. That's what we call killing the rat. So you get out, you get out in space, and then you turn back to see if anybody's gonna catch the the ball carrier from the backside. As we call it, killing the rat. That's Rosen Gordon. And just as with that burst, gets up in there. He runs hard. He really does run hard. Finish the run. Finish the run. Another six yards after contact. First and goal, baby. First and goal. Another reg Now, this is a traditional screen, but again, it shows patience. Let them big guys get out there in front of him. Who is that? Linda Bone. Now, Fale ain't touched nobody, but you know, it is what it is. He ain't touched nobody, but you definitely get behind this big old wall. And make make them adjust to it. Make them adjust to it. Make them adjust to it. Maybe it was a bad cut by Justice. Maybe he should have he ran off the other side of Fala Lele. Oh, now nah, it was two people coming. So either way it go, he was going to get tackled. But again, just get, getting the playmaking space, man. He's just another weapon. He's just another weapon. And then this right here, boy. This is Now, 42 was making plays all night. But right here, he was just outmatched. He was outmatched. <laughs> ooh. 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 Look at the feet. Look at the feet. Get him out the backfield. <laughs> Dead legged him. Dead legged him. Couldn't be more open. Couldn't be more open. Couldn't be more open, my boy. Mm. Hell of a ride out the backfield. Hell of a ride out the backfield, Justice. Ah, one more time. And then we'll close it out with this one right here. Just getting the guy in space, man. Throwing him in the flats. A, a two-yard route. Now, look at this. It's third, and, it's third and eight. This is a two-yard route. Look at the grit, the determination, the moves, the and any other kind of words you, you want to – you know, any kind, any other kind of adjective you want to throw on top of this. It's a two-yard route. This ball is behind the line of scrimmage. It ain't even a two-yard route. It's behind the line of scrimmage or equal to the line of scrimmage. Because y'all see the three down there for the marker, where the referee is. He threw this ball at the line of scrimmage, but he's a check down. Watch this. Watch this turn into a first down. Make you miss. Burst past the second dude. Spin on you. Make you look like a fool. And get another, what, 20 yards? Another 20 yards. How important is that? And that's a guy with, what, eight touches? If that, eight touches. Whoop. Whoop. And finish the run. Crucial part of our offense yesterday. And Justice Hill showed up and asked the bell in a big way to compliment Derrick Henry's 199 yards. So I appreciate y'all for coming through. This is Coach Evans with another episode of Sip the Tally Films. This is our first 
all 22 look of the week. Uh, I appreciate you, everybody for coming out. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all soon for the call-in show tonight and the round table at 9. Peace and love, y'all.